Fundamentalists take it to be the word, not translatable, not metaphorical, the word. In the beginning, Genesis, let there be light. Could that be a metaphor for the Big Bang? No, God just went click. <laughs> so you're saying we're all descended from Adam and Eve, then we're all cousins. That's right. <laughs> Here's the thing. There are miracles, though. There's miracles in the Bible. Like when Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go, and Pharaoh went, in your dreams. And Moses called to God going, God, I need some help. And frogs fell from the sky. Maybe they fell from the sky, or maybe they were Jews with catapults going, no. <laughs> and thank God it was the Egyptians and not the French, because the French would go, lunch, OK? Why should we let you go, you great caterers? I can't let you go, you crazy people, huh? <laughs> But frogs fell from the sky. At that point, I'd be going, get your shit and out. The frogs, I said, wait a minute. That's what we should do. That's what we should drop on Afghanistan. Not bombs, not food. Fucking frogs. Frogs, lizards, hamsters, gerbils, shit they haven't seen. And if you want to get people out of caves, a shitload of New York rats. Oh, baby. And even then, Pharaoh was not plus. He was, oh, please, David Copperfield, no. And then boils, and then firstborn dies. That's it! Hebrews, get out! And everybody, banish Tadanoi, everybody! We're going through the desert, and then they get the Ten Commandments, would be adjusted by certain presidents. That happens later. And they get to the Red Sea there, the sea, the sea. And they go, what now, Mr. Magic? What do we do now? And he calls to God again, and the sea pots. And even the most doubting Jew is going, you're good. Everybody, come on, everybody, let's move. Don't eat the shellfish. I'll tell you why later. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? To Jerusalem to start years of struggle and later to Miami to fuck up an election. Let's go. <laughs> and then the Pharaoh comes, but the sea closes and he calls to his cat like God, but his cat like God can't do shit because it's afraid of water. <laughs> and then. There's another miracle. The night that Mary said to Joe, Joe, I'm pregnant. And Joe went, holy mother of God. And she went, you're right. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What a great name, Joe. That is so much better than Shmuel. Way to go. I love you, Joe. Wait, hold on a minute, Mary. Hold on a minute. So I'm the stepfather of God's kid? Yeah. So I can't discipline him. I can't go, you're done wrong, because the kid will look at me and say, you're not my real dad. What are you doing, Mary? How did it happen? Oh, it's immaculate, Joe. Oh, it better be, Mary. It better be immaculate. I'm sorry, I'm transforming Joe into Ralph Cramden. <laughs> and people say to me, they say, Jesus wasn't Jewish. I say, of course he was Jewish. 30 years old, single, living at home with his parents? Come on. <laughs> Working in his father's business, his mother thought he was God's gift. He's Jewish. Give it up. <laughs> it's an old tradition. And it's said, that night that Jesus turned to his disciples and said, one of you shall betray me. And Peter said, is it me, Jesus? And Jesus said, no, it is not you, Peter. And Simon said, is it me, Jesus? And Jesus turned to Simon and said, no, it is not you, Simon. And Judas said, is it me, Jesus? And Jesus turned to him and went, is it me, Jesus? 